Hello everybody, I am LJ479 and welcome back to another episode here on Craft Kingdom. We are back in our second episode of Season 2, where today I have plans to start on some farms. So last episode, I of course got started on the entire season by gathering some gear in the end and an elytra. But before I can use that gear too much, I have to get mending on them, otherwise they're just going to break and, well, so much for even getting it in the first place. Now the only way you can actually get mending is villagers, and you might be able to find it in dungeons, but I'm not sure. The only way I know of is villagers, so we of course are going to have to get those. So we're going to have to either find some villagers or ask someone else if I can use their villagers. Now because of the other stuff I have planned for today's episode, I don't want to spend too much time on villagers, so if I find a village, I'm probably just going to do all my work there instead of like traveling instead of taking all the time to get them back to my base. I'll wait until like another episode to actually transport the villagers and until I have more progress on my base to do that. That way I can actually have a proper place to have them set up. So yeah, let's go ahead and journey out to find some villagers. Okay, so this is actually a pretty convenient village because right on the other side of that mountain is where my base is. So yeah, all I had to do is come down this river and find it. I probably won't need to move these villagers at all because once I get my elytra ready, I can just fly over here within a matter of seconds. So let's see, I do believe this is the village library. Yeah, all right. So do you offer mending? No, you do not. So we're gonna have to get that guy to offer mending. I'm also gonna take this random iron leg on the ground. So that means the long process of breaking and replacing the lectern until he finally offers it. I'm probably gonna have to find another villager who's gonna offer me emeralds for something rather cheap. So what about you? What do you offer? Yeah, a lot of times farmers will just offer little plants like that for an emerald. I know fletchers are also good for this too. You can just trade them sticks. Which would probably be faster than waiting for crops to grow. Though I do not know if this village has fletchers. So yeah, I'm gonna lock up this door. Keep this guy in here. And we're going to begin doing some work. I should probably bring him his bed over. So he has a proper bed to go to at night. So yeah, let's get to this process then. Okay, so luckily it didn't take too long. We were like five minutes at most. But we now have mending. It's going to cost me 20 for emeralds and a book to get it. So yeah, that's going to be a little bit of a cost. But it is definitely worth it to get mending. So I'm going to keep this village really contained inside this house. And yeah, we'll come back here for our mending. In fact, I'll probably set up a little thing to where I can just trade with him. Like so. Also set up a little back door entrance here in the house so I can get in. Without the villager trying to escape. If I can actually find a good place to do it. There we go. And there we go, now I can get in and out. Now I'm going to have to go ahead and get some books and emeralds. So that might take a little bit in itself as well. As soon as you get out of the way of these trap doors. Come on. I see you trying to escape. Alright, so. So I'm going to try and get a Fletcher because they will probably offer me a much better trade than farmers would. It's a lot easier to get sticks than to get crops. Because crops I have to wait. So. Sticks, I just chopped down a few trees and I got it. So I'm going to need to get some flint to make a fletching table. Alright, so I got some flint here and some wood. So we got ourselves a fletching table. Put that back and let's also sleep real quick. Okay. So now we can take this back to the village and get ourselves some good trades going. I'm also going to have to figure out where I'm going to get books from. I could just go to a stronghold, but the one that we just went to before is probably all looted up. So I might just have to stick with crafting some. I'll have to get some cows into the farm over there, and I'll also plant some sugarcane. Get a little manual sugarcane farm going. Let's just figure out where I can find some sugarcane first. So I'm sure there's some laying around here on the shore. Oh yeah, there's some right there. 
Get it all planted up. Ready to go. Alright, back to the village. There are quite a few uh, jobless villagers in this village, so I should be able to find one that'll take up the job of being a Fletcher, such as you. Let's see if I can get this guy in here without the librarian escaping. Nope, he said no. <laughs> If I put that there, are you going to take the job? Somebody's got to take the job. You, right here. He just deleted my fletching table. Hold on. Let's have like a more straight canal through here, but honestly don't really know. I'm going to be flying with my Elytra soon enough. The game finally decides to register that I, that, that fletching table didn't get placed after I crafted a new one. Well, at least I got a backup one in case something weird like that happens again. Anyway, back to the village once again. Okay, now one of you is going to become a Fletcher today. Specifically you, since you're the only unemployed villager I see right here. There's another one up there. Maybe I'll wait for him to go to a house and sleep. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Since it is sunset. Alright, I got this guy in here now. Which actually works because... I can now get him just to become a Fletcher, if he actually decides to stay in here or pick up the job. And I'll just move more beds in here, so villagers will kind of adapt to working in there. Maybe I can just get them all working in there, that way we won't have any confusion with like beds and stuff. I don't want my librarian to like get confused with his bed and then reset his job and lose mending. That would be quite annoying. This guy has picked up the Fletcher job. I might have to break the block a few times though to get him to actually sell me something. Sell me like emeralds for sticks or something simple. That is, as soon as he picks up his Fletcher job. Alright. Is the Fletcher? Yes, alright. He's offering me sticks now. So I can get. So for a stack of sticks, I can get two emeralds. So, yeah, it's still a lot of sticks, but. Like, really, when you scale it up, it's not that much tree shopping to do. However, I have been slowly relocating a lot of these beds into here. So I'm going to try and build up a little trading hall in here. Hopefully I can relocate more job site blocks in here. And just, you know, get a full trading hall growing on in this house. And I'm going to also relocate the bell. That will also encourage the villagers to get moving a bit more into here. So yeah, it's time I get to chopping with the trees. But while I'm at it, I'm going to also try and lure some of these cows back to my base so I can also get a little cow farm going and farm some leather so I can craft books and trade with the mending villager. Alright, let's just break this bow very carefully. Where'd the cow go? I hear him, but he just... He just disappeared. What? I can hear him, but I seriously can't figure out where I went. I think the server's really acting up today. Hold on. No, I think he's here. He's just invisible. Let me rejoin the server.
Ah, there he is. Yeah, I think the server's just having a hard time today. Anyway, back to getting this cow across a big ravine. All right, come on, cow. Come into the pen. All right, then. Just need one more cow, and we should be good to go with the cows. Okay, so I've filled my inventory up with sticks. I still don't have enough room to fully fill it up. If I try and craft any more sticks, then it's just going to fill up my inventory, and I'm not going to have enough room, and then they're all going to be all over the ground. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and head back to the village, trade these sticks, and, and then I can craft the rest of them up. And get some emeralds from it. Okay, so I've gotten 20 emeralds so far. I still have a lot to trade, but he has ran out for the moment, so I'm going to have to wait for him to restock before I can keep trading. Even though that seems like a lot of sticks there, they really drain out fast once you start trading. I only got 20 emeralds from who knows how many sticks. I still have a bit more to trade, but yeah, they go down quite fast. Luckily, this villager has decided to give me a bit of a deal. I guess since I've traded with him so much. So that's nice. So wait, while I wait for the restock, I guess I'll continue moving the village into this house. So it looks like this guy is restocked again. So let's finish that up. And that's all the sticks I have. So that got me 44 emeralds, which should be enough to buy me at least two mending books. Actually, not quite. Only one mending book. So I just need a little bit more emeralds to get a secondary mending book. So yeah, that's good progress. Okay, so I got my emeralds and a book here. I only had enough leather to afford one book at the moment, but I'll get to work on getting more books. Not that I have enough emeralds either to get enough, a book of mending. But if I find my librarian over here, let's go ahead and get myself that nice, shiny mending book. Look at that. Unfortunately, I can't afford any more at the moment, so I'll have to do a bit more trading with the uh, Fletcher, which means I'm going to have to tear down a lot more trees. So, yeah. Okay, so I got the Elytra here, so let's just go and craft up an anvil real quick, hopefully. I'm going to have barely enough iron for this. So let's see, let's craft up a few iron blocks. And craft myself an anvil. There we go. All right. <clears throat> we'll just drop this right here. And looky there. Got myself a mending elytra. Feels good to have these back. So also in the future, I'm probably going to get um, breaking on these so that I can actually... So they won't break so fast because you know otherwise i'd be mending them like every two seconds but yeah so that's going to be it for all the villager work today i'll probably do more stuff like trying to get mending off camera and yeah let's move on to the next part of today's episode okay so of course i got my men elytra with mending on it but it's still kind of useless without fireworks I do have a few fireworks here that a friend gave me, but of course I'm going to run out of those pretty soon and then I'm going to have no fireworks and the elytra is basically going to be useless. So I've decided that this season I'm going to actually get myself a lot more farms than I did last season and one of those will be a mob farm. So I've gone ahead and started gathering resources here for the mob farm. So pretty much all I have left to do is build it, and I still do have some more resources to gather, but I just decided that I'll go ahead and get started on it. So I'll take it out to like here, and then get myself a little platform to build it off of. So for this farm, I'll be using a tutorial by Shulkcraft. You've probably heard of him before if you like to do a lot of Minecraft farm tutorials. He does a lot of those. So I'll link his tutorial down in the description in case you're interested in using it. But I'm going to go ahead and get started or working on this design. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in time-lapse form. So we're going to hop into our first time-lapse of the season. I didn't actually have any in the first episode. So let's go ahead and let's get, let's get building.
Okay, so this is our mob farm done. So, um, I still do need to put the AFK platform up here at the top, but other than that, it is pretty much complete. If you saw during the uh, time lapse, I definitely had a bit of troubles. It's kind of barely in one piece here. The, it probably would have been a better idea to build this in a different order. Probably build the platforms last so that way the mobs aren't spawning in like crazy and getting in your way. Because, uh, I mean, I can't even remember how many creeper explosions I had while building this thing. So yeah, tip for building a mob farm. I recommend like saving the platforms or the cover up bit for last. Do everything else first. Because otherwise you might have to deal with a lot of mobs in your way. And also, uh, right after I finished recording the time lapse, there's like, there was a bunch more creeper explosions that happened. So, uh, thankfully Mr. Taco came in and gave me a hand to finish it up. So, thanks to him. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty much ready now. So, I, I'm going to build the AFK platform and then I can go ahead and turn the farm on. Because the biggest like issue with these is you don't want to let like a skeleton see you because if it sees you, it'll shoot an arrow and if it happens to hit a creeper, then, then that's going to be an explosion right there. So yeah, so I, get, I just got to flip it on here and it'll be ready to go. Okay, so off camera, me and Extrenix built an Enderman farm. So that way we could repair our gear with mending on it. Of course, my elytra is currently the only thing I have that has mending. But of course, uh, as I continue through the season, I am going to get more items with mending on it. But yeah, Extrenix did most of the work. I, I wasn't around too much to help him build it, but I did get a start on it. However, we do have an enchanting table here. So I'm going to go and use this to enchant my diamond gear. Get some starter enchantments on it. Let's see here. I got Bane of Arthropods. I mean, that's not too great. Uh, let's try my pickaxe first, see what I can get on that. Oh, efficiency 3, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take the efficiency 3. And for the diamond sword, we're still getting Bane of Arthropods. Hmm, knockback seems pretty good, but a breaking 2 would be also nice to have. I don't really want Bane of the Arthropods. I think I'll take our breaking 2. Alright. I right, got some starter enchantments, so now to enchant these, I'll have to get actual books to in order to enchant them. While well, I'm here, I'll just min my elytra the full way up. Extra levels in the process too. Okay, so before I end this episode, I'd like to do one more thing, and that is build myself a bamboo and sugarcane farm. So I've begun gathering a few materials here to build it. So I'm basically just going to reuse the same design for my sugarcane farm last season, which isn't the most efficient, but it'll work for what I need it for. And yeah, I'm going to put some more pistons in anyway than I did last time. Last time I think I only had about 12 stocks of sugarcane that I was farming. This time I'm going to add a lot more in. And I'll probably add more as I go too. However, this design does work for bamboo as well, so I'm just going to kind of combine the farms since they are practically the same and build them together. So I've just been gathering some materials for my farm. So once I get all those gathered, we can begin building it. Okay, so let's get started on this farm. All right, I'm gonna grab some sugarcane here so I can put that into the farm as well. I should already have some bamboo on me. Oh, I don't. I'll have to go get that from my base here in a bit. So I think I'm going to build this farm over here at the village with the rest of my farms. So let's see here. I think I'll put this. Um, I can really just kind of utilize some of these village houses since this is the only one that's actually in use for the trading hall. I think I'll put it like maybe right here. All right, then let's go ahead and get started on building this. So I'll start out with the sugarcane side. Since that side's a bit straightforward, 
So I'm gonna build this kind of like, um, I have put some improvements on my design. As you can see, I got a hopper minecart. Instead of having a bunch of hoppers, I instead got Rayal's hopper minecart and a hopper, which will minimize the amount of iron I need to use for this one design. So you probably only need like maybe 10, probably only need like 15 iron for these things. And then of course you're gonna need some uh, more iron depending on your rails. However, it's only like six irons for 16 rails, whereas it's five iron for a single hopper. So it's a lot more efficient on the iron supply, especially the bigger you make the farm. However, I am going to build it. So we'll have like sugarcane on this side and bamboo on this side. So that way they're kind of facing in toward the minecart and then they'll the minecart will go in the middle and pick up all the stuff. And another thing about um, hard minecarts is I'm pretty sure they have a lot bigger range to pick up items. So like even if they're kind of laying like right here on the edge, if the minecart passes by, I do believe it'll pick it up. I'm not sure, but I when I was testing with it, I did notice the rather sensitive hitbox size. Probably probably a good idea to move this down one block. Pick up some space down there. Pick up the torch. And just put it as far back as possible. Please light it all up. All right. Maybe if I go a little further back, it'll all get it all. Will that work? There we go. Now it's all lit up. So now I can go here and you go grab the hopper and the chest put the chest there or actually I'll make some more room for it I should probably sneak a little torch down here to leave it lit up just in case mobs try and spawn down there I don't want those mobs crawling all over the place while well, I'm up here trying to run my farm. Hopefully these will span out. There we go. Okay then, so now I just need the observer detector. Just quite simple, so I'm just gonna put in here. Since sugar cane can only naturally grow up three bucks high, I only need to make this one three blocks high. Yeah. Observers, observers are kind of confusing the way you place them. You think that they would place with the face facing you, but no, it's the redstone side facing you. So now I just need to trail some redstone back through here. And then we can place our repeaters down. And what I'm gonna do here is to save repeaters is I'm gonna alternate between redstone and repeaters. The reason I put the repeaters here in the first place is because, you see, if I try and do this, these don't actually feed into the pistons, which is kind of an annoying Java Edition thing. I don't think that's an issue in Bedrock Edition. So, like, I'm pretty sure you can just put them right against it and it'll feed into the pistons. So now I basically got to do the same thing on the other side. However, I'm going to do it a lot higher up because bamboo can grow a lot taller than... Oh, what? I just got disconnected from the server. That's weird. A few internet issues later, and now it's nighttime on the server, which isn't ideal conditions for building a farm. As you can see, I'm already getting attacked by a zombie. But anyway, back to working on this farm. All right, so I'm gonna need to put a slab here to deflect that minecart because if I put a full block here, I wouldn't be able to open this chest. And then I'll have to just place a regular block over here. And a good thing to do in order to keep the sugar cane from all tumbling on top of these pistons. I control it a bit more where it'll fall is just put some blocks on top of the pistons here. And here as well. 
so that way we control the where exactly the fall off goes. And I'm also going to need to put the minecart down now. Actually, I'll wait a little longer for that. One thing I do need to do that I forgot about is that I need to place water underneath each of these so that I can plant the sugar cane here. All right, now I can fill the dirt back in. And we can get our sugar cane growing. And of course I need to place in the minecart so that it'll pick up the sugar cane. Oh. Alright, it looks like the slab isn't actually de deflecting the minecart. Which I wasn't expecting. So it looks like I'm gonna have to place a block on top of here and then move the chest. So that it will. And there we go. It's been all patched up. And I'll go ahead and place some torches around here to get the sugar cane to grow a little better. And then we can go ahead and work on the bamboo side, which is going to be pretty similar to the sugar cane side, except I'm probably going to position the observer up a little higher since bamboo can grow much taller. So I'll go a few more blocks up here. Probably don't need to go too high. Probably not going to affect the efficiency of the farm too much. Maybe it will. I'm not a big farm. I'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to Minecraft farms. And if I place this up here, and face the right way. There we go. And then I'll have to trail some redstone down here. And I do need two more repeaters in here, so I'll have to go back to my base crafters and also grab the bamboo and some more blocks to tower up behind here. So then after that, the farm should be done. Okay then, it is done. You can see the bamboo's already started to grow. It's growing quite fast compared to the sugar cane, which hasn't grown at all. Hopefully, I don't see what would be causing it to not grow. I think it should be fine. But yeah, I'll just check back here later. But yeah, it is growing. So once this stalk of bamboo reaches it up there, same for the sugar cane, then the pistons will fire and all of the, all of the resources will drop down into the minecart and be collected up into the chest for me to come and gather it up. And with that, I'm going to end today's episode. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. We got like three new farms in here. I mean, I guess technically two, but if you count that back there as two different farms, then that's three different farms created this episode. That's great progress, especially for just the second episode on the SP. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do next episode yet. Maybe do some actual work on my base, other than just it being a very plain cave. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.